All right, guys, we're coming at you with another crazy analogy for something that people really have uh, the misconception of when it comes to uh, just myths and fitness-related things that we believe because somebody said something, and then I heard Joe Schmo say it, and now I believe it. All right, so here's what we're talking about today. We're talking about soy milk. Now, I drink soy milk. I don't buy regular 2% milk. Why? Because... I don't go through enough of it to make it worth my money. So for my family, we buy soy milk. You don't have to refrigerate it, so you just keep it on the shelf. You put it in the fridge whenever you want to use it. Tastes fantastic. Still has great macros, so why not, right? Does that mean I avoid regular milk? Absolutely not. So uh, there's my reasoning for drinking soy milk, but we're talking about soy milk because everyone's so afraid of soy products. They say, um, and here's the myth that we're covering today, soy milk has estrogen, you will be putting estrogen into your body, you don't want that because you're a male and you need testosterone to get big. You can see, you can see my confusion because it just sounds so stupid when I say it out loud, but that's what people think. They, they're inherently like, whoa, whoa, I don't want estrogen. Uh, let's get this straight. Uh, soy milk, soy products, they may contain uh, plant-based estrogen compounds. Right? That does not translate into human-based estrogen compounds, nor does that translate into actually elevating your estrogen levels by simply consuming something. Uh, so let's think about it this way. If it were really that easy to manipulate your hormone levels, uh, menopausal women who have hormone uh, therapy for the lack of estrogen running through the body, a doctor would just say, you know what, hey, look, we got soy milk. It's this great product, uh, you drink it, and it just elevates your estrogen levels, boom, there you go, right? That's another kind of stupid analogy, um, but it makes sense. Think about it. If it were that easy to manipulate hormone levels in the body just simply by eating something or drinking something, why wouldn't you just go ahead and eat the testicles of every single animal, especially like male bulls, something really manly and, and fierce, because the testicles produce testosterone in the animal, and therefore we should relate that to high testosterone levels in men. There's the analogy for you. Quite ridiculous when you think about it. Is there anything wrong with soy products? I don't feel that when it comes to relating soy products to estrogen, there's any argument whatsoever. I drink it personally. Go for it if you like it. There it is, guys. Hope it helps. Take care.